Hello, people. You know what we're playing. I'm about to play some Deadly Premonition. So I'm going back to GeForce uh, experience this time because now um, OBS is giving me some issues. Let's go. <coughs> Previously during the investigation, F, the F K in the coffee. I knew I could count on it. Never fails. Ah, the perpetrator. Bit off Anna's tongue. Jack Potsack. A shame, but our old time all American sightseeing tour just came to an end. When purple fog covers our town, we'll all wander in hell. So says Mr. Stewart. No. Oh, well, there's an old story. Folklore. It's a fairy tale to me. Something about a killer in a raincoat who appears on rainy nights. She had a red dress on. She was a goddess. It's starting to rain. I think this case may take a while. I had a chat with Diane. She said she was at the bar drinking with Nick at the time of the murder. We need to confirm her story. Let's talk to Nick at the diner. Yeah, let's go talk Very to well, Nick. Agent Morgan. I have to head back to the department and clear up some paperwork. Go with Emily to the A&G diner. Okay, then. I'll show you the way. The diner's open from 9 to 2100. Just as we suspected, Zach. Diane is the key to this case. <coughs> I have a feeling she will lead us right to the criminal. And then it's Mr. Sapling. That's Kaysen. Looks like the show has just begun, and it has an all-star cast. He sells saplings by the seashore. Please say this car has some gas. I'm all alone with Emily, though. <laughs> Emily, do you know a man named Forrest Kaysen? Kaysen? Yes, I, I know him. The, the sapling salesman, right? He always yeah. uses strange comparisons when he talks. I'd like to know more about him. What does he do when he comes to town? He's a so salesman, so I guess he sells things? Maybe he comes on vacation. I, we haven't seen many tourists recently, but he comes pretty often. Is that all? Well, now that you mention it, he seems quite friendly with the Ingrams, with Isaac and Isaiah. Maybe you should ask them about Kaysen. Oh, will do. Okay, I will. Will do, Miss Pretty. Oh, God dang it. And that's a lot of yards. Is there something you want to check out? Uh, well, either way, it doesn't matter. I can see you won't be rushed. I'm going to go ahead, okay? Okay, that would be fine. Oh, the diner is open you. from 9 to 2100. Don't keep me waiting too long, okay? I won't. I, I, I just need a car that can actually fucking get there. This car will suffice. Because I have not seen a gas station. I don't know how to get gas. Damn it, I did want to go with her, though. That's quite a disappointment. Isn't it, Zach?
Zack. Don't you think there are a lot of good-looking women in this town? Yes, that is. It's like heaven compared to the town we grew up in. Do you remember Liz? The prom queen? Elizabeth Scott Moore. She could be royalty with a name like that. But you know, she was like an actress from a B-movie, wasn't she? Bleached blonde hair, too much makeup, clothes showed off her cleavage, and that mole by her mouth. Say, Zach, were you with me back then? You know, that mole was made with makeup, right? We happened to be on the same bus once. I saw her drawing it on with makeup. I wasn't surprised, I guess. Just impressed that she would go that far to create that image. Do you remember that movie we went to go see that day? I'll give you a hint. It was the fourth in a popular series and was produced by Menahem Golan's Canon Films. Figured it out, Zach? Think it over then. Call it your homework until next time. Gas icon. That perhaps where I get gas. I'm not entirely sure I've ever seen one of those before, but nonetheless, we've seen one now. To recap, the movie was the fourth sequel in a series that started in 1978. That's right, Zack. It was Superman IV, The Quest for Peace. Lex Luthor was back. It was played by Gene Hackman. That alone made it a must for all us fans. I don't remember much more about it, though. I'm sure there was more trivia about it. Still forget four. Richard Donner directing one and two. Now those two were great movies. Christopher Reeve really shined as Superman. Actually, Zack, I've got a confession to make. Promise not to tell anyone because I'd be really embarrassed. I actually like the first two Superman movies more than the first two Star Wars movies. I think John Williams did a better job with the theme song for Superman. But whenever I try to hum it, it always turns into the Star Wars song somewhere along the way. <laughs> I know it's strange, Zack. I know. So, Zack, which Richard Donner film do you like the best? No need to hurry. Take some time and think it over. Will do. Angie Diner. If she's going to complain, I literally came right then. Emily, were you waiting outside for me? Should I have gone inside and started the 20 questions? Well, that would have been fine with me. Shall we get something to eat then? Someone should teach you how to be more considerate. And now you want something to eat? <laughs> I thought we were going to question Nick. We are. After we fucking ate. Or do you not understand that? Welcome, Mr. Agent. Mr. Agent. Hi, Olivia. Let me have your special for today. 
and some fresh coffee. Our special today is turkey. A turkey and gravy sandwich. Sound good? Oh, perfect. Emily, you eat something too. It'll be on the FBI. <laughs> okay then, I'll go all out. I'll have the T-bone steak. I usually can't order it because it's a little too expensive. Mrs. Olivia Cormac, mm -hmm. I am here for Mr. Stewart's lunch. If it is ready, I'd thank you a bunch. Wow, what a fucking thing. Yes, of course. Just a moment. Wow, she ran for him. Here you go. The usual. One turkey, strawberry jam, and cereal sandwich. Sounds like the sinner's sandwich. Self-inflicted punishment to atone for past sins. He's setting an example. Mr. Francis York Morgan, you should try this wonderful lunch. It's more than a delicious, tasty crunch. So says Mr. Stewart. No, that's fine. I've just ordered my own lunch. Mr. Francis York Morgan, I, that is, Mr. Stewart's order is delicious, I should mention. And Mr. Nick Cormack is a genius for creating this perfection. So says Mr. Stewart. Still, I have a hunch I might not like it. You sure that sandwich is that good? Mr. Francis York Morgan, Making decisions based on intuitions is always a sign of bad FBI agents. So says Mr. Stewart. Oh, slap Harry, in the you're face. right. I'll give it a try. Slap. Oh, Harry. Oh, oh, God. That was a slap in the face. I can't believe it. This is fantastic. It's really good. Olivia, I'm sorry, but can I change my order? I'll have what Harry is having. Oh, what a random music mix-up. Like, what a... That was random as shit. Nick and Diane. They hardly make the perfect couple, do they? Is it widely known that they go drinking together, just the two of them? To be honest, I don't pay attention to these things. Not into local gossip? Well, when I moved here, I was still in high school, and I kept wearing the same wild clothes from my school in Seattle. I was young back then. And before I knew it, there were rumors all over the school. She'll screw anyone. That's what they said. Totally unfounded, of course. Anyway, after that, I just sort of chose not to really trust gossip. I get where you're coming from. I used to dress like a hardcore punk rocker when I was in high school. <laughs> look at that look on her face. <laughs> you? A punk rocker? <laughs> Nobody took my side. Even when I had good grades, people rejected me just because of what I wore. I was young back then, too. <laughs> Even still, I just don't see you as a punk rocker. <laughs> and you laugh? Look at you. No makeup on, dressed in uniform, eating a steak for lunch. Okay, back to work. Wow. Let's talk to Nick. That was harsh. Mr. Francis York Morgan. What's in your car? Francis York Morgan. I got coffee. <laughs> Excuse me. Hey, I'm working here. You can't just stroll into a chef's kitchen. Uh, I think I just did. Then perhaps you would give me your permission to enter. No. 
Get the hell out of here. This guy's such a doucher. Zack, everyone has their own sanctuary. Let's leave him in his. Bag of douches. I got the diner menu. We're gonna go ahead and save and we're gonna call this an episode. We'll see you guys in the next one.